think he's around 28 wide. He's got a couple extras that have been hunting this deer for three days. The wind has been howling for two days. There's just so many eyes and so many deer. We're, uh, we're gonna make a play on him and I think we can get it done. He's right at 250. He's being right high shoulder. Let it go. On today's episode, we have one of my favorite shows each year, our 2014 EHJ Hunt Winner. He's gonna be coming with us to Eastern Montana to be hunting trophy mule deer. Let's not waste any time. Let's head out into Eastern Montana with Rod Paskey, Mike Irwin, and his brother Jeff came along to hunt as well from Oklahoma. Well folks, we're out here in uh, eastern Montana again with the 2014 hunt winner, Mike Irwin from Moline, Oklahoma. And uh, as you can see, we just got done looking at a pretty nice deer. Uh, we've got one bedded down this morning and uh, we're going to wait and see if we can't get on him this afternoon. He's a really nice deer, you know, pushing that 180 mark and, and uh, so we'll go look some more. Huh? Mike won this incredible opportunity by simply subscribing to the Eastman's Hunting Journals. And with that, he joins the ranks of some very special past hunt winners that we've hosted here at Sizzlin' Ness in Eastern Montana over the years. Mike and Rod have seen a lot of good bucks this week, but one in particular has their hopes riding pretty high at the moment. Unfortunately, the buck managed to move into a bedding location where we couldn't get close enough for a shot. So we decided to play it safe and back out, hoping our patience will pay off later with a better chance at the buck. Mike's brother Jeff also came along on this trip to hunt a buck. So we took the afternoon to try and find a good buck for Jeff. It didn't take long at all, and we nearly stumbled across a very nice buck bedded in the shady side of a deep Montana coulee. Yep, anytime. I hit him good. <clears throat> I think he hit him both long, so I think we're good. He just kind of dart, darted down the hill. And he's a nice, straight up, just a beautiful mule there. Big front end, eye guards, everything you can ask for. And, he just made a great shot at about 220. And... These two guys have been hunting together since they were young boys in their home state of Oklahoma. Tagging along with them as they hunt for their first mule deer bucks has been a great experience. Congratulations on a fantastic first mule deer buck, Jeff. Welcome back to Eastern Montana. And now it's time to put our previous plan into action and see if Mike can hang his tag on a very nice buck we've been patiently watching for a few days now.
folks, we've got a, about a, we think he's around 28 wide. He's got a couple extras that have been hunting this deer for three days. He's never has put himself in a good spot. They feed an alfalfa field and they go bed in some tall grass way back there. And we, the wind has been howling for two days and it's been cold. And uh, these deer's patterns have just been different. They won't come out to feed till just about dark. Now this morning we caught them uh, coming out later, staying out later. And uh, I think we can make a stock on them. We've got some sagebrush, we've got some terrain, and I think we can make this deal work. Ready to do this, Mike? Mike, he's down. Hit him right in the shoulders. We went down hard. Good work, bro. That's what we thought he was. Got two extras here. Long main beam that goes on forever. Folks, you can see he's got a extra coming out the back. He's got an extra going in the inside. Does have two eye guards. Deer really opens up nice. That's a beautiful mule deer. What do you think, Mike? I love him. I love him. What do you think of the whole beautiful experience? Country up here. Oh yeah, the hunt was great. Well, congratulations, Mike, on a really nice mule deer. Mike won this hunt by subscribing to Eastman's Hunting Journal, and each year we just pull a name out of the hat and you were the lucky guy. Remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you next week right here on Eastman's Hunting TV.